sometimes you have to give credit to a team when they get really hot, but I think we just gave them a couple, you know, e too easy of looks to begin. Um, but I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, an, it's hard to put one thing to it, honestly. It's hard to put one thing to it. Um, bottom line is we just got to be better. We got to be better. We got to find a way, um, learn how to make teams do things they don't want to do. Is, is one of the key things to defense in this league um, because the reality of it is in the NBA, guys are really good and they can score. You let them get to their spots, they're going to score all day. You let them shoot the shots they want, they'll score all day. So we just um, just got to continue to get better, man, continue to chip away and, and learn and grow and, and use these as, as lessons. You know, sometimes you just got to go through things. Um, you just got to go through them head first and, you know, live with these results and, and, and go back to the drawing board and, you know, be better from it. Cam, even though you've only been here a handful of games now, this was game 62, so there's 20 games left, right. roughly a quarter of the season left. Just, what do you think are going to be the biggest things for you guys in this final stretch to kind of figure out as you guys try to the playoff race and all that? I really think the main thing is going to be just defensively. Um, I think that first game against Philly was really solid. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it's just shows you that nothing's ever a perfect process. Um, you know, it just... I think there's times against Atlanta, against Milwaukee, even tonight, where we were doing what we wanted to do on defense and, and you know, playing the way we wanted to play. Um, like I said before, it's not like a broken record, but if we continue to cut down on on those those bad stretches, cut down on uh, those runs that these other teams are making on us, just it's chunk, you know, it's chunks of game where you pull that pull that out, then it's a different story. Um, but when we learn to manage that better, when we learn to communicate, guard, um, understand better, uh, which we will, um, the, the results will be a little different. Cam, do you feel like it's, are there certain parts of possessions where you guys are having trouble? Is it like, you know, kind of point of initiation or? Man, it's, uh, Bit of it's a little bit of everything, and, and sometimes these, these things are hard to verbalize in, in just a couple sentences here. Uh, we got to go back, dig into the film, um, see exactly what is going on, um, see exactly where our rotations need to be. And like I said, when those become second nature, uh, the defense looks different. Um, and, and, you know, it's, I know that it's tough. I know it's tough. I know there's been a lot of points we've allowed these last couple games, but um, I still believe in this group, I still think we have the talent. I still think we have the defensive capabilities to uh, be where we need to be. And, um, you know, I, I speak for myself, but I also think I speak for the whole team in, in that we're going to attack this thing head on and continue to work uh, to be where we got to be. As a team, since there are, like, so many different issues going on, does that kind of make it harder to tackle, I guess, as a group? What do you mean by issues? Well, like, uh, the, just you said there's multiple things that are going wrong, I guess, defensively. Yeah. Um, does that kind of make it harder to tackle just because it's not, like, one thing focusing on this? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Um, you know, the main objective is to stop the other team from putting the ball in the basket, and there's a lot of different ways to accomplish that. There's a lot of different ways. Um, and I just think, you know, the more we play together, the more we understand each other, just naturally the better we'll become. Like I said, I, I feel like there are stretches of the game where we're, we're doing what we need to do, doing what we're supposed to do, and we're getting out in transition and playing fast and playing free. Um, so I think that'll take care of itself. It's those, it's those stretches that we need to... Um, look back and understand why they're happening, what's going on, what, what type of shots are the other teams getting. Um, and I think in doing that, you know, you, we might find a trend over these past couple games on this is how teams are, are getting going. Um, and maybe just putting more effort into understanding how a team can go on to a run and, and, and you know, defending them accordingly. Um, tonight, they got guys hitting threes across the board. Um, and, and we're, we're caught in rotations. So some, some part of it is just stepping up and guarding and being better with that. That is, that is for sure. But, um, you know, they were, they were a little too comfortable. You can't let a team get too comfortable. It's a new group. You know, obviously you guys are getting to each other on the court, on yeah. the court also. And yeah. Obviously, you know, struggling out of the game. Just what's, how would you describe them around the locker room? You know, we're, we're competitors. So it's, it's, it, it, there is an element of, of, of suck to it where it's just like, man, we don't want to go out and lose ever. Like, everybody feels it. Everybody feels it deep. We're sitting on the bench. You can, you can feel that there is, it's, an, it's an unsettled feeling because we want to be better, because we know we can be better, because we know we have the talent in our room to be better. Um, but I think that's just going to motivate us to attack these, these days. Um, you know, it, we're talking in the locker room, and it, it's going to it's, it's, 
we accepted the fact that it's going to be different. You know, some teams are hitting their stride, finding their playoff push, and you know, we're we're um, learning each other in a way. Um, but I think we're just going to have to to bear down and 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 figure it out together. Um, and like I said, I mean, I've I, there is a sense of enjoyment in playing with this group. You know, it's it's guys that I, I'm you know I'm just meeting and and getting to play with and understand their games. But you know, I enjoy playing with this group. Um, and I think there's something to be said for that. You know, I think there's something to be said for, for being with a group of guys that you want to compete with. And I think that's where it starts, just competing. And, you know, on paper, when you guys, after the trade deadline, you have you profile like a team, obviously, with a lot of wings, a lot of guys who can guard. Yeah. Do you sense that you guys are just surprised by these defensive struggles coming out of the theater? I actually do. I, and I, it's, it's a good question because I actually do. It is a surprise, especially Philly barely got to 100 the first game, and there has been some regression statistically. Uh, I, some of these teams are just hitting shots, you know, and sometimes you got to give credit to them. But like I said earlier, that's when you got to step in and be like, what kind of shots are they hitting, and how can we make them take different shots? How can we make them um, do things that are a little more uncomfortable for them? Um, but yeah, and it's not something that sits well with our group because we know we should be. At the very minimum, a, a very good, you know, top of the top half of the NBA defensive team. 